So what's Logic Pro for iPad going to look like in iPad OS 26? Well, as you can see here, not much different. There's not a whole lot that's changed here, except your eyes probably drawn down here to the bottom right because yes, you can resize your window. So yes, we can now make Logic Pro whatever size we want here, which is different from GarageBand, which you can only reduce a little bit. You'll also notice that you've got in the top left-hand side here, these traffic lights. You can close, you can minimize, so pop it down there, or you can even use this green button to full screen it again and go back old school. But the cool thing about this is in this new version, which by the way, is a development beta, it's out right now, but don't download it, don't use it unless you're really sure. Because if you're in the middle of a project, this could be a bad idea. The public beta is out next month. The full version is going to be out in around September. So maybe just wait unless you've got a second device or you're really keen for a little bit of mayhem. Let's go back to these traffic lights up the top here. So yes, you can close, minimize, and you can full screen. You can also open other apps here. So say you want your files app overlapping, or you can even tile things up. This is cool. We can tap and hold on these traffic lights and go to these tile mode. Ever wanted something over here? And then we can do the same thing here, tap and hold and say, yeah, throw this over on the right hand side. It's really cool and it's going to be handy, especially if you've got a larger iPad screen. The other thing that we have here, let's just go back here, tap there. You can probably see it already up the top here that we've got these. We've got these uh, menus, these drop down menus at the top. We'll just go here. It's a little bit temperamental. Once again, this is a beta version. So we'll do that. We'll just uh, minimize this one, move that out of the way because we've also got some menu items at the top here. Now, this is a bit disappointing because Logic Pro, all we've got is this Logic Pro menu, which just has every keyboard shortcut under a Logic Pro menu. Now, this is the beta version. Once again, this may change. Apple may adapt this. They've probably updated GarageBand first because that's one of the default apps on every iPad and this will probably be updated later. You've got window here, which is just the exiting and minimizing the same thing as the traffic lights you had in the top and you've got help, which is just a search box, but you've actually got access to the Logic Pro settings. If we tap that one, it's going to open your settings app and it's gonna take you straight into Logic Pro. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, at least it's supposed to. There it is, it takes you straight in there. And the cool thing is you don't have to leave Logic Pro to get there. Let's X out of that one there. One other cool thing that we have here in iPad OS 26 that we don't have in previous versions is if you swipe down from the top right, finally, Finally, if we tap here in the now playing section, we can tell it which actual audio device we want for our input and output. So instead of being on the iPad speaker or my HDMI or my LG TV, I can just lock this in to my Steinberg audio interface and it'll stay there. So if you're using Bluetooth devices or keyboards or other things, not keyboards, audio interfaces, USB microphones, whatever you're using there, you can actually make sure it stays on that because in the old way, every time you plug something in, it replaced the last thing you had plugged in. So Logic Pro here in iPad OS 26. Not really much to report on just yet, but even just the basic things with the windowing and with the ability to utilize the audio device that you want, that's pretty good. Hopefully we get some other cool things in these menu items closer to the release date. And if you want to find out about everything to do with iPad OS 26, the new files app updates, all the new windowing stuff, just stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you're subscribed and check out the other videos that are on your screen right now. And until next time, I'll see you then.